your first morning forecast with Jim Spencer. Well, let's take one more look at the uh, current wind gusts. They continue to come down slowly. Winds just gusting to 16 now out there in Lano, 21 miles per hour in Burnett, 30 mile per hour wind gusts in uh, Georgetown right now, and nearly 30 uh, out at the airport. So that's good news. You saw how quickly that fire there right on Mopac uh, got out of control this afternoon. So the less the wind uh, is blowing out there, the better tonight. Skies are clear. Uh, it is really a pretty afternoon, other than that uh, strong wind we've seen today. 70 degrees, the current temperature. At 8 o'clock tonight, though, we're down into the 50s already, upper 50s, by 10 p.m. at about 52 degrees. So the air is really dried out, and that allows for a pretty rapid cool down after sunset. Uh, middle 60s out here in the Hill Country right now. 66 in Georgetown. San Marcos coming in at 70. 68 over in Bastrop. You folks in Lockhart are at 71. In the city, at 70. And skies are clear. Dew point down into the 30s now. Put the relative humidity in the low 30% range, 70 degrees and clear at the airport. Winds uh, averaging 12 miles per hour at Camp Mabry, a little gustier than that. At ABIA, the winds are still averaging 21 miles per hour, but as you saw, gusting to near 30. 630 is sunset tonight. In the pollen count today, not bad. Mole low and everything else low. Elm, ash, and some cedar. Uh, because of all the wind here, probably a lot more stirring around out there right now, so we'll call for a slight increase in the mold and tree pollen counts tomorrow. Temperatures in the 60s over most of the northern half of the state, 70s from Austin southward, even some 80s down there in the valley where that front uh, hasn't quite made it yet. But it certainly made it through central Texas and the winds have been uh, real gusty out of the north behind it. Fortunately, those winds are beginning to come down out there in the panhandle and west Texas where more than 100,000 acres burned. One person died in a car crash on I-20 near Midland because of all the smoke in the area. It was a, a young child child, unfortunately, and up in, in near the Amarillo area, uh, several dozen homes destroyed in those fires that you heard so much about uh, last night and earlier today. We'll have more on, on our news uh, later in the day today and this evening. Uh, the jet stream uh, off to the north now is going to remain up there, so we're not going to see any significant weather-making systems. We need a real good rain producer right now, but we don't see that coming. There's a front coming on Friday, but it's probably not going to bring us much rain, spit a little drizzle, uh, kind of like we saw on uh, Saturday. So in the meantime, certainly between now and Wednesday, uh, more sunshine than clouds and rain chances, just minimal. Tonight, the low temperatures. Now, this is a story. I know you're anxious to get your vegetable gardens going and things like that. You could have a light freeze out here in the hill country, especially in rural locations. We'll stay above freezing in most of the metro area, but barely. 33 is the forecast low for the airport in the morning, so that certainly could be a light freeze in some of the coldest areas. 42 is about as low as we'll go in Austin. 30s in our eastern counties in the morning, but a big warm-up into the low to mid-70s tomorrow. Tonight in the city, down to about 42. Skies clear with north winds. Tomorrow, let's go 73. Uh, plenty of sunshine. Winds gradually begin to shift around to the east, and by Wednesday, we've got a south wind returning, so we'll be up at about 75. Uh, Thursday, about 75 degrees. The morning's not nearly as chilly. On Friday, that next front will approach late in the day with a slight chance of a rain shower. Maybe it'll drizzle in the morning, then maybe a rain shower Friday night. Unfortunately, a lot more wind on Saturday, this coming weekend, that could uh, present another high wildfire danger over uh, many parts of the state, including right here in central Texas. Be sure to go to KXAN.com on the weather blog today. We're talking about capturing a flag for women's heart health. Our own Rhonda Lee, in fact, today participated in a Capture the Flag event sponsored by Diet Coke and benefiting many women's heart health programs here in uh, Texas. Uh, the Heart Hospital of Austin was actually the winning team today. And you know what they did with their $10,000 prize? They immediately donated it to the American Heart Association's Heart Walk fundraiser. Way to go, Rhonda, representing us all well there. As